So, uh, it's been raining for the past two, three days and you guys might hear uh, some raining outside because it is raining and I've been waiting for it to stop but this is the first time it actually toned down for a bit today so it's actually in the morning. If you guys hear any of the raining in the background, I don't really care anymore because I tried, I did my best, I've been waiting for hours now and now it's getting louder. I hate my life. Now the reason why my eyes look like they just woke up is they kind of did. I've been waiting for I guess two hours and I woke up two hours ago and I still look dead inside. <laughs> but this is only a quick rundown of what I'm going to say because it's only gonna be like five, so six minutes. I just want to quickly talk about uh, Fujimoto Tatsuki Sensei's new one shot which is Look Back. Now, for some context, I have never actually consumed anything that Fujimoto Sensei's work. For example, Chainsaw Man, Fire Punch, I've never read them. And I've never actually seen any of them. Besides the trailer for Chainsaw Man, I'm, exact I'm actually really, really hyped for Chainsaw Man. Because that trailer... Oh, chef's kiss, man. But as a person who has never really consumed anything from Fujimoto Sensei's work, it's actually a very refreshing experience because let's talk about what actually is the one shot. So the one shot is titled Look Back, which is a story about two girls. I actually assumed that it was a girl and a boy, but at first I assumed it was that, but it was actually not. And it was actually refreshing that it's two girls or females that is trying to become a manga artist, which is extremely, not, not extreme, but like, scarce to find in the manga industry although there are some successful ones i use the word scarce so smoothly i feel so smart right now now the story is about fujino i think now I, i've never really consumed again i've said this before but i know there are some references to uh, fujimoto sensei's uh, work itself or himself and i think it's because uh the other girl is called kyomoto and the main girl is called Fujino, which is like if you combine them and remove some of the syllables, it's Fujimoto, which is I don't know why that's that's just a cool reference to me. And I don't really know if it's based on Fujimoto Sensei's real life experience. Hopefully not, because this this is extreme. So the girl Fujino isn't exactly good she's just average but uh, people around her she has yes men she's like oh you should become a manga artist because i mean you can draw so she applies for the school's newspapers manga uh, competition or i don't i don't know it's like four comma young comma uh, strip competition which is just, just four panels of stories and that's basically it and she has a rival who is on the same age as her which is kyomoto and she has better art but the thing is she doesn't go to school so on their graduation day uh a teacher told fujino to give uh, kyomoto her graduation certificate to her house since they're both buddies since they both competed at the yonkama manga competition in the newspaper so fujino went in kyomoto's house and uh events happened and then and kyomoto comes out of her room and says she was a fan of fujino's work which is fujino kind of she didn't know how to react essentially because she realized that her art is pretty mediocre and it is <laughs> but essentially during her early years in elementary i think a lot of people told her to quit because I guess she was just average and people are gonna think she's weird, she's a weird otaku because she keeps drawing and stuff like that. But because of Kyomoto, she started drawing again and picked up, you know, becoming a manga artist as a dream. Then both Kyomoto and Fujino uh, teamed up to make a manga series and then I think they got published, I'm not really sure. But during those events, uh, Kyomoto decided to go to art school because she thinks her art isn't enough. But because they already made those bonds of wanting to become serialized, so they worked together. And then they were, they were really together all the time just so that they could make a manga that could be published to Shueisha. Would you not try to, you know, convince her to just not go to art school because it would be boring and stuff like that but they eventually part ways and Fujino eventually started her own manga which is Shark Kick and I know this is a reference because uh, I think this is a reference to Chainsaw Man because the manga for Chainsaw Man 
the letters are like chainsaw man kind of thing like it goes this way and then shark kick goes this way as well and i don't know i, I just found a lot of references that i was happy to understand because as someone who doesn't really consume any of fujimoto tatsuki's work it, i thought i was like oh i get this and then the unfortunate turn of events uh, while Fujino was being, you know, successful, she has an anime adaptation actually. So there was a news. Fuck. There, there was a news that there's a guy who suddenly attacked an art school and killed 12 people and 9 people who are injured, I believe. And. Oh my. Okay, so as someone, again, as someone who has never consumed any of Fujimoto Tatsuki's work, that was a good. Fujimoto Tatsuki Sensei's, Sensei's art is super unique in a sense that, you know, the way the lines work make it seem, you know, the expressions that uh, Sensei shows in his work is really, really good. So, Fujino found out that Kyomoto was one of the people that died during the attack. And, uh, uh, I feel really sad because you you know like it's a one shot you've never really experienced uh any attachment to these characters up until like page one and it's only have it only has like 140 pages which is impressive to make you feel something for just a short amount of time so Kyomoto died Fujino took a hiatus because you know mental health matters and she visited uh, Kyomoto's actual uh, house and she had a lot of realizations that what if she never, you know, asked her to make manga with her and stuff like that or if she never pulled her out of her place in the first place, in her house in the first place, she would have never died. And, you know, she started realizing what's the point of drawing anymore. And the rain is making me even more sad but yeah there was an alternate like ending that they can't not alternate ending but some kind of uh what if moment if you know if they never really you know met like kyomoto went to art school but fujino really never did manga but then fujino saved uh kyomoto from the guy who has an axe was it i don't know it was a weapon but it, it looks like an axe or a pickaxe and then if they never, you know, pursued manga in the first place, then she would have been able to save Kyomoto, which is like her biggest regret. And she kind of had this realization of what is the point of drawing anymore if it just caused her so much suffering. And I thought that was a really, really good read. Not only the art is phenomenal, it's really good. And it actually makes you feel something. The story itself is pretty much like a slice of life kind of thing which turned into something like a thriller or a drama at least. It was, I don't know, the way the events turned that way was actually pretty good and pretty well done. Because I, what I did is just, I was bored like two days ago because it was raining and I really didn't have anything to do and I felt like reading a manga. And I realized, oh yeah, Look Back is a pretty, you know, well, talked about manga it actually just had four million views in the japanese side of things in the site in just two days which is like pretty amazing so i thought i'd take a look i went to viz media's uh, official site and it was free so i read it and then i got depressed <laughs> and yeah because of that work it made me look forward to chainsaw man even more and I'm actually contemplating on whether I should buy the manga because I've been searching through like online shops on Chainsaw Man and it's all sold out and I'm waiting for it to restock because I want to watch the anime and I'm pretty sure the anime is gonna cover like all of 11 volumes in the manga so or if the anime actually does that I would definitely <laughs> I mean, based on the trailer alone, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like the, the anime and the story itself. It's only 11 volumes, so I would really love to get all of uh, Chainsaw Man eventually when the anime drops. If I don't get disappointed, that is. But I'm pretty sure I won't get disappointed. Now, I've been filming for 15 minutes now, and I said I was only gonna film for 5-6 minutes. 
this has been a really long video. I really expected it to be shorter. I don't know if I edited this, if it's gonna be shorter than 10 minutes. Hopefully it will be shorter than 10 minutes because I don't want to make a video that long about just a one shot. So uh, thank you for watching and yeah, see you guys in the next video.